hello guys welcome to my youtube channel um today on this tutorial we'll be creating a group layer um a group layer stores reference to multiple future classes and allow them to be displayed and changed together okay so i'll create it while creating i'll be explaining some basic things all right so um i want to create a group layer involving a future class like um line point and polygon okay i'll be using an example data of um a us data okay so on this one i'll be going to this us data okay all i need to do is to go to the folder usa right click on it and come to new and then i will go down to uh, group layer now let me name it just give it any name i feel like nigeria group layer anyhow it's spell whether it's correct or not all right now the next thing that will happen is for me to open the uh i'll open the us folder and then on sorry this is happening on arc catalog okay sorry so i will come down to this nigerian group layer right click on it and come to properties okay it will open this so now normally if you just start arcgis for the first time our catalog for this way to carry you to board you can just come to group here and then you come to add then it will take you here then you now navigate to where you have uh such data okay now let me come here to Taraba state uh, okay so under the administrative i have one i have line future that is the boundary so i'm going to pick the local government for instance i'll go back under the transportation i'm going to pick river i'm also going to pick road under the utilities i'm going to pick a uh, okay school worship center petroleum i hope we've completely uh, completed this is road it is a line future this is water this a polygon this two a polygon yeah we've completed the equation so you click apply and you click ok now if you click on the group and come to preview you see all that's inside these are all the data that are inside this place all right now let's go to arc map so that we could finalize this we'll be editing them so i will come to our catalog by the side here uh go to data where it is saved and then I'll go to us folder and drag out my nigeria group layer all right now it's out i'll right click and go to the properties of the group the group layer property then i'll go to group now i want to make changes to them one by one i'm setting uh, properties for layer files of future class okay so while i'm here let's start with uh let's start with the water body which is um, a polygon both of these two are poly on this local government i'll go to properties And then go to label and labeling this to say i'm leveling a polygon future now to label label a polygon future you 
right click on the properties of that layer then you come to label future you check on this label future in this layer now there are two options here label all the future in the same way define classes of futures and label each class differently go with the first option now the field name you definitely need to know what the field name is so you see now these are all the names so but name is actually the right field name for this as for your label into label like all the local government's name on it then you check your fonts which one will be better for you uh, I like um, I like this one personally I like this font then the color then you come to placement settings now on the polygon this is what you're going to see you will see something like it, but this is what you're going to check only place label inside polygon then you remove duplicate now you apply okay all right then let's that's for polygon now let's go for um line future you go to properties of this road you check this leave this the same now on the placement settings now you select above and below curve above and below then you remove duplicate this sorry now this is what i did now it's supposed to be for rivers now when it is for you just leave it at above that's when it's for road but when it's for river you select curve and then place it above position above below then you okay you apply you okay all right now for point futures you go to properties you check and uh, you go to placement settings you go to placement settings now here you are required to you are either placing the point on top of placing the label on top of the point or you place it at a specific angle you choose angle okay but for now let's leave it at place label on top of the point then you okay and you okay now if we okay we're going to see the virus changes now let me remove other ones so that we get to view it very well now do you see that in Taraba state no matter the font they have the same font but nothing is actually outside of this font they are all placed inside